all right what's up guys uh it's been a minute it's been a few months and uh i, I don't even know where to start but but i have been working on a video just so you guys know that i'm i am kind of working not really but yeah let me just pull it up real quick so here it is the last video i uploaded was making a two-player obby as you can see here i have made pretty significant substantial amount of progress not only in the game but also in the video but eventually i just got kind of burnt out and then i also got a job <laughs> sorry i got a job yeah anyways that's a that's the progress on that video i'm still working on it anyway so i'm kind of back with you guys today because i want to take a different approach to this because i'll be honest i've been doing this thing for like four years even before i had this channel i had another one and it's it's really gotten to me you know i'm not speaking for everyone in the niche obviously like this job is very fun you know it's very easy but i'm saying at least for me you know there's some creative burnout that has come across my path and you know it's been a little bit hard for me to just get back into roblox especially with a lot of things going on in my life as i get older but anyway i wanted to bring it back today because i want to work on something that i've been very passionate about for a while i've always wanted to make a card game like i've always wanted to make a racing game i've never made a card in roblox studio which is weird right i want to do that so in this video we're gonna make a car in roblox studio but anyway this is still a passion of mine you know i still love doing this so let's look this up right now okay how to make a car in roblox studio all right so i keep seeing these videos but like none of them ever really work so let's try this one how to make a car in roblox studio how to make a car in roblox studio so first you want to add a model call it mover add a part in it and then add a seat in the model Make sure the model's primary part is all right let's go ahead and do that real quick so i'm gonna insert a part move this like that okay we're just trying to make this hella simple you know we're just trying to get the car to run my computer's been lagging i don't know why i have a macbook m1 pro should not be lagging bro. anywho doodle let's get a seat up in here okay let's make a model boom call this vehicle all right and let's just put this stuff inside of it just do seats all right so now let's make the wheels real quick just do two by two honestly let's do let's just do like three by three for this one and then we're gonna put this here all right move this up like that okay nice i'm gonna make these a little bit darker okay now i'm just gonna put these on either side okay now i'm gonna name these all wheel uh um yeah okay perfect we got our model okay let's go back to the video make sure the model's primary part is the part okay primary part where is that there we go perfect do is go and starter player scripts out of local script and copy the script in the description all right let's <laughs> let's check out the script god damn this is long all right let's just go ahead and <laughs> slurp that up all right he said starter player right yeah all right local player boom name this to car and let's just go put that in there all right let's go try it out now by the way has anyone been talking about this new interface like i know people probably have but like oh i forgot to anchor it okay <laughs> anyway while i anchor that this new interface is a little jarring i don't know it's kind of throwing me off i really like the old one i don't know why they changed it they really didn't need to okay anyway i can't move <laughs> i don't think that was uh, supposed to happen what if i unanchor it let's try it now nope okay i think the reason why this is happening is because it's not a normal seat it's a vehicle seat so let me go ahead and add a normal seat in there oh, that's probably why it's happening yeah get rid of that put that there i put that inside of the vehicle okay let's try it now all right let's walk up to it and i can't move what <laughs> What is happening? Also, why is it lifted? Did I lift it? No, I didn't. Just put it down the ground. All right, let's try it now. Nope. So can I move? Okay, let's check the script. What is going on? Okay, we're using user input service, run service, player, and the model. Oh, got to name the model mover. Let me just change this to vehicle. Vehicle? Okay, now it should work. Let's try it now. Oh my God, it works. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> what? No way, it works. Well, I'm going so fast. Yo, I might be drifting, low-key. Am I drifting? I'm drifting! Wait, no, I'm not. I'm just in shift lock. Okay, I'm going backward. When I press W, I go backward. So I think this is supposed... Okay, this is supposed to be the other way around. Okay, now let's try it again. Okay, so this is definitely not... This is definitely not a car. I think what is happening is it's just using vectors to move uh, the model forward. It's not actually using physics, which is uh, a little bit strange. But you know what? Let's, let's check the script. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, so what is happening here is that... Okay, yeah, they're using user input surface, okay? For every key. All right okay yeah okay so what's happening is that we're using run service right so while every step is being taken while every frame is happening in the game it's checking if this value like if w press value is true and then if that value is true it's going to increase the move speed of the car and then here's where it actually moves the car right so we get the move direction which is just vector three in the uh direction that it is going in right so then it takes the model and it takes the primary part which is just like the base of the model so this gray part here and then it just multiplies that by a new c frame which is just like moving it in the direction that it's going times the move speed so yeah it's just using vectors which is kind of weird but let's see if that actually works when you go across a wall so what happens if you're going into a wall do you just phase through it or what let's try it out okay so i'm gonna go straight into the wall and we're gonna see what happens All right, I don't, I don't think that wall was thick enough. Let's try it a little bit thicker. Let's do eight studs. Okay, this is eight studs going on right now. 
All right, so I went through the wall, but also I'm kind of detached from my car. Also, this is really weird. My car is like in the distance, but I can still move it and I'm like flying around. Yeah, I don't think this is supposed to happen. Also, I don't know why I'm going so fast. Yeah, my car is phasing through the wall. Okay, anyway, that was trial number one. So I want to try a car using actual physics. Okay, let's see what this guy's doing. This video will show you how to make a simple car on Roblox. I just want to see a script. You know, I want to see what he uses. Okay. All right. So he's using, oh, he's using wheel constraints. Interesting. All right. An angular velocity. All right. And he's using throttle. Okay. And four sets of wheels. Okay. Let's see how his car runs. All right. Hmm. Wow. Look at that. Look at that rip. Look at that drift down his tires are actually moving interesting huh. wow that's very interesting okay this is a real car using the physics engine all right let's make it okay so basically our first step is to make the chassis of the car first let's go ahead and do that real quick i'm gonna do a eight by four i'm gonna rename this to chassis so now we got to make the axis which is for the wheels it goes under the car and essentially if you guys don't know what an axis is it's basically the little thing that rotates the car it's basically this thing it's the, it's the little thing that goes across the wheels and it rotates the wheels yeah i think so Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and make this. We have to make the axis can collide off because because the wheels will be on the ends of this. They will be colliding with the axis. We want them to collide with the chassis, but not with the axis. All right, anyway, let's lift this up. We're going to have the axis go under the chassis like that. And we're going to call this axis A and then put one in the back. And we're going to call this axis B. Okay, now let's add a vehicle seat. Okay, boom. And let's rotate this around because we don't want to make the same mistake we did last time. And we're going to put this in the front of the car. Right? Look at that, right there. Perfect. We're going to anchor all this, by the way, and put it all in the model. We're going to call this vehicle 2.0. All right, let's go back to the video. Select two parts named part A at the front of the car and duplicate them by right-clicking okay. and selecting duplicate. For each part, use the move tool to drag it a few studs away. Okay, never mind. I have to do something different. And then what I have to do is I have to do this and that. Then I got to name these two axis B. Create a hinge. Okay, boom and boom. Okay, perfect. Nice. That was easy, right? Yes. Repeat this for the other side. Don't forget to select the outside part first. Now select both hinge constraints. Okay. Now for this part. Boom and boom. Okay, nice. Them all and in the properties window, set their size to one by four by four. Then drag each wheel to be in line with the other parts so that the square part is aligned with the middle of the wheel. Hold. Okay, so it appears that I do not need this. Wait, no. Let me just move some of these in the back. All right, guys, I'm getting a little confused. It's okay. We're going to figure it out. Anyway, as for these back wheels, I just remembered that you can't move the back wheels of the car. So we're only moving the front wheels. So that's why we're only going to have these uh, these two axis points on the back. We got everything sorted out now. So let's get the wheels up in here. Let's add a cylinder. All right, let's see if I can move that down. All right, now let's do the same thing for the three other wheels. Boom. Okay, I know this looks really weird, but it's not going to look that bad soon. I promise. <laughs> what I got to do is I got to go to model. Okay. And I got to make a new weld constraint. Okay. And put one there. Then do the same thing for the other side. Look at that beauty, guys. That's crazy. Each wheel in the explorer panel. And make sure to not select the steering constraints. So axis B, all of these need to be can glide off. Are they? I think so. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Also, make sure that your steering constraints start on the outside and move inwards. You can check this by setting the constraint details property in the top menu. Constraint details. Where is that? At? Bro. Why is everything different? Bro, just like, I mean, I think I'm good, right? And okay, now I need to group the wheels together. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Whoa, I forgot to put these inside of the model. Put the wheels inside the model. Okay. Shabam! Now let's group these together. Are they supposed to be anchored? I don't know. Plus icon and selecting script. For the sake of time, we're going to speed up the coding parts. Hallelujah. Okay, so now we script the actual car. All right, I just did it. <laughs> so we have the seat. Oh. Sorry, guys, I gotta go take out my laundry. I'll be right back. Okay, never mind, I guess. My clothes are still washing, even though it's been like an hour. Okay, we're back. Let's uh, keep watching the video. A seat and four sets of wheels so that we can easily reference them later on. Then we're going to set two variables to hold our steering angle and the max speed of the car. Then we're setting Correct. up two events. One event will fire when- Why are British people so cool? I don't know, I like their accents, you know? I don't know, maybe I should go to Britain. I'm from California. They probably wouldn't want me there, but yeah. When the steering of the car changes from the input of the vehicle seat. When this changes, we'll set the target angle of our steering constraints, which will turn the wheels left and right. Yeah. Our second event is for the throttle. I'm acting like I know what he's talking about. I do, actually. All right, let's try it out. So everything should be working now. <sighs> All right, guys. Moment of truth. Let's go ahead and play. Okay, my car seems to be stable. My vehicle was in the wrong direction. I need to rotate this around. Okay, let's try it now. I'm getting worried, guys. I don't think this is going to work. But you know, it's all worth a try, you know? Uh, this is really bad. I did not expect it to be this bad. I'm not sure what the issue is. Uh, nothing is happening. Okay, let's see the properties. So this should be can collide off. Is it can collide off? Yeah, it's anchored though. I don't know if it's supposed to be anchored. So if I unanchor this, so unanchor all of these parts, will it work? Okay, I think the problem is that everything in the car is anchored. I don't think anything is supposed to be anchored. Let's just unanchor everything. Whole car is unanchored. Okay, so as for this, I'm going to weld these again to this just so that they are normal. Now let's try it out again. I'm just gonna run the game this time instead. Okay, that looks pretty promising. All right, it looks like it's working now. Let's try it out. Everything looks normal. 
<gasps> Yo, I can move the wheels. Okay, now can I go the car? Can I move the car? I'm gonna press W in three, two, one. <gasps> Yo, it's working. No way, this is sick. Okay, hold up. And if I move, okay, if I move my wheels all the way to the right. Oh, okay. All right. Yo, that's sick. Look at that drift. Did you see that? No way. Okay, hold up. Wait, this is actually sick. I'm getting so many ideas right now. I can make a drifting game. No way. I could actually make a drifting game with this. All right, yeah. But see, if you're going too fast, then you can't turn. See, that's the issue. So I gotta, I gotta decrease the speed. I gotta make it more gradual. This is insane. I've never made something like this. How have I never made a car, bro? I've been making games for like four years. How have I never done this? Anyway, uh, look at that. Look at that terrible prototype. What is that? What is that garbage? Look at my new... Check out my new car, bro. This is sick. All right, dude. Check out my skills, bro. And also, I don't go through walls. Just for a comparison, let's try out the other car. What the hell is this? I can't even drift. And look, I can go through walls, though. That's... That's cool, I guess. Also, I'm floating too, which is interesting. This is, this is terrible. All right, let's try out the other car. Yo, I'm drifting. You can even do donuts. I can make drifting simulator. Bro, I can make drifting simulator. I do have an idea to make a to make a, a new Roblox group and then like make some games with that. I think that'd be interesting, you know? But yeah, we'll see what happens, right? So I want to advance with this a little bit more because maybe I could make a game with this, you know? We're going to play around with these mechanics. Okay, let's check out the other mod. So this is steer angle. If I do 45 what happened so 45 they okay yeah steer angle is exactly what it sounds like it's just the angle that the wheels can go so there it seems to be faulty right now because the wheels colliding with the uh with the chassis okay that's interesting what is the angle of rotation for cars it's 40 to 45 degrees for most cars actually i'll do 35 because it's colliding with the chassis i don't want to do that so let's see if this collides with the chassis okay this is 35 degrees I'm gonna move it all the way left. I can't tell if that's colliding or not. Oh, it's not colliding. Okay, perfect. All right, so 35 is pretty much the limit, I'd say. But we're making discoveries. We're learning about this. It's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, change the color because I want it to be like a race car. Like a bright red. We're gonna make these wheels black. Nice. We're also gonna scale these down a little bit too. Okay, and then let's also put something in the back. So it kind of looks like a sports car, you know what I'm saying? Right, we're gonna put that. And then I'm also gonna put a wedge. All right, let's put a wedge here. Boom, turn this around. Okay, and then make this the same color. Okay, check that. Wow, that's sick. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, I haven't even saved this project. All right, let's go ahead and save it. Project race car. Okay. All right. Now, before we end the video, let's go ahead and try out our new car. All right, let's just hop in. All right, check that out. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a lego car this is actually sick dude i'm drifting everywhere i never thought i'd make something like this it's this so dumb but you know you learn something new every day but yeah, anyway uh thanks for coming along guys you just watched me make my first car in roblox i definitely want to work on this more you know this could even sprout into like an actual game that i'm working on you know i'm gonna be exploring this mechanic a lot more anyway that's pretty much it for today i'll see all you beautiful people soon see ya